beautiful Taurians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone claiming to be me asks you for those things, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Now, I have felt that collectively the energy is pretty low at the moment. Uh, I've been really feeling uh, that sort of dip. So I have been trying to find uh, other avenues to raise the conscious collective's uh, energy or frequency. So I thought maybe it would be best to go on something like TikTok, where it's really short, sharp videos to raise vibrations. So uh, I'm... Uh, set up a TikTok channel there. Again, it will be free, no money, no e-gifts, no donations. Uh, I'm going to do sort of 60 uh, second videos there to uh, inspire. Also do like pick a card, uh, card for the day, that sort of thing, but also uh, be in touch with nature and raise vibrations with uh, quotes and things like that. And um, so hopefully, um, you know, if it's something you're interested in, go for it. But if not, uh, you know, of course, give it a wide berth there. But I just thought I'd let you know, and the link is in the comments box below. So let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, so this is the Twin Flame Union reading for those who feel like they're in a Twin Flame connection. I have already uploaded a singles reading for your sign, so please check that out uh, if you're looking for a singles love. But if you're uh, looking also for something that's not love uh, sort of related, I did do a career reading there, and the next reading after this will be about your personal circumstances. It will be about you and how you're dealing with uh, your surroundings at this moment in time. Nothing to do with love, nothing to do with career, but this is the Twin Flame reading reading okay so let us see what's happening for you we've stepped into Scorpio season okay so this is about transformation it's also about anything elusive coming to the surface uh, so for example if your twin flame is the runner and they've been denying their feelings avoiding uh, their true path or even sort of trying to fight fate there, uh, they will take some time to really look at what it is they're avoiding. It all comes to the surface during Scorpio season. Also, this is a period where psychic bonds between twin flame energies uh, really become quite prominent. So you may uh, be connected to your twin flame in a deeper level in the next coming weeks. Uh, that person may also reach out to you uh, to come towards you and communicate. We'll see what comes on up in the reading for you. It's a time for carnal instincts and sort of that lusty energy to kind of take over. Um, so expect your twin flame to be extra charged. Of course, make sure if your twin flame is returning to you, Taurus, that they are uh, returning in high vibrations because, you know, with that carnal energy there, it can be people magnetizing towards each other for short periods of time. And if you're looking for something more stable, more secure, more loyal, then, you know, I would just make sure you check in with their energy. Uh, so your first card there is number 24. It's the hearts, okay? Now this is about love, of course, and this is your protagonist energy, Taurus. You may be looking for um, you know, a deeper connection with your person. Now, for those who are not sure what a twin flame union is, please look it up online before you connect to this reading because uh, I don't want you to waste your time, but it often involves a runner, a chaser. Uh, there's a disconnect for a short period of time or maybe even a long period of time, depending on how quickly your, uh, your um, twin flame ascends and then you come back into union. Now, not everybody gets to be with their twin flame in each lifetime, depends about the journey. Uh, the one that you sort of um, signed up to before you came to this worldly uh, plane. But we have here number 24. So you are thinking about that lover's journey because when you reduce it, two plus four is six. You're thinking about balance, about harmony, but I feel like you're trying to connect to 
what your heart really wants okay because I feel like you're questioning this twin flame journey you can see that it's been a bit of a mountain to climb that there's been a lot of control issues here in this union push and pull push and pull is what I'm getting now I did a Scorpio reading earlier there was some energy that popped up in there as well but we've got the whip there as a unified energy so that means there's some sort of um, someone is trying to control their feelings or keep a tight grip on things maybe even tame the other now I have to say I do not condone anyone going back to an abusive or uh, you know a sort of unhealthy relationship so just so you're aware you know you the dynamics of your relationship Taurus so please use a discerning energy when you return to anything because you deserve the best okay and you're trying to find someone whose heart matches your vibrations I'm also aware that human beings were complex creatures okay sometimes we say things we don't mean we argue we fight we battle with power etc etc in order to be heard so I have to be understanding each person's energy not take sides, just be on the fence, sort of picking up each person's energy in order to transmute the future energy of what is to come. I feel like you're trying to lighten your heart here uh, because there's a lot of heavy energy. I, I, I get this question of, it should be easier than this. It should be easier. Why is it not easier than this, okay? Uh, I'm gonna pull a card on this uh, for you because this is basically about love. You're seeking love. Now, you, you can see that it's been a difficult journey and as much as you'd like to be with your twin flame, you're recognizing that maybe this is an uphill battle that you've kind of become a little bit cynical about here. Uh, that's the energy that I got coming through. So I'm gonna pull a quick card on that to see what else I'm getting with that because you're all about the love, Taurus. You're looking for love. You don't need love. You want love. Love for yourself is most important, of course, uh, but I do feel like there is a yearning here. We got the temperance card in the reverse. Ha! So this is almost like the love of your twin flame is very disruptive. Uh, there's also an element here of uh, feeling a little bit out of control when this person comes on in. Um, this person, they keep you waiting. You may feel very frustrated with this person. It puts you out of balance when they connect to you because it's almost like as soon as you decide, you know what, screw this, I'm moving on. I can't deal with this anymore. And there's that lull of not hearing from a person. They come back on in and they disrupt everything, okay? So I feel like you're getting pretty impatient with this. Six of Cups, yeah, they keep returning. Six of Cups is return to, uh, you know, the good old days energy. It can be about nostalgia, but when it's in the reverse there, it says don't get stuck in the past, okay? Because this person, I feel, has unrealistic expectations of you. They just kind of expect you to be there, Taurus. And you're not about that. Uh, it's very difficult for you, Taurus, because once you're done, you're done. Once you've left the building, you really have gone. And it's hard uh, to ever sort of win you back, okay? Um, maybe it's because you've got that, uh, a bit like Scorpio, really, you know, they've got that fixed kind of energy where you're like, you know what, I'm done. But it takes you a long time, especially when it comes to love, to get to that point, okay, Taurus? We got that Six of Cups here. I'm going to go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Ten of Wands. Yeah, so I feel there is an energy here. As much as you would like to be with your Twin Flame, it is a very difficult union. It's been a very difficult path. Uh, a lot of frustrating energy. It's been exhausting, okay? The push and pull. They bring in that sort of chaotic energy. Six of Cups in reverse. They just expect you to kind of be there or to recover the union. Uh, unrealistic of course, they live in the past, you know, they remember the good old days, they forget about how impatient they are, or how they do not give uh, love uh, in a balanced, reciprocal manner to the union, and they just expect you to be around, okay, um, and we got that ten of wands there, where I feel like you're closing this energy off, um, I feel like you're bored with this now, I feel like you're trying to free yourself up from the pattern that you may have found yourself in with this person, you're still seeking love, you still want it, you wanted it to work with this person, but it's been a difficult journey. So I feel like you're really questioning it right now, like going, I'm on hold. If you think about those balloons, you know, they're together, they're tied, but they're, sus they're sort of suspended in that energy. You know, balloons, they don't tend to sort of drift up together. They kind of like drift off in different directions according to the wind. But I feel like they're in some way tied to something that's keeping them in a suspended energy uh, is what I get. But they want me to look at this closer, so I will. One moment, please. Okay. They just gave me a name, which was Ace. I mean, well, not a name, but a word. Ace. Ace. I mean, either your person's name is Ace, or that's what you call them, or that's what you call yourself. Maybe it's a surname, Ace. I mean, I know an Ace is like an Ace in the deck, or something like that, or maybe something is Ace. I can't really 
to just give me ace out of the blue doesn't really connect to the reading so far so I'm not really sure how it connects to you maybe you were uh, reading a passage of text and you just read the word ace could be about you wanting new okay uh, as much as this is a twin flame journey uh, I feel like you really wanted this but there is a, a breaking point I feel like you've reached it and you've gone beyond it you may have thought about giving this person a second chance but the unified energy says you know it's number 21 number 11 and number 29 so I feel like there's an element here of uh, this person tries to control th the way that things go. They keep you suspended. Uh, their energy is number 27, okay? And that is a letter. So it, uh, it's a, a communication. So it's, it's if, you, if you know the dynamics of a twin flame union, as soon as the chaser stops chasing and decides they're done, and maybe even seeks love elsewhere, that is when energetically uh, you sort of pull on the cord and your twin flame recognizes they're about to lose you. Now, I know it sounds like a game, but they're here to uh, spiritually ascend on their journey as much as you are. The twin flame journey often is very uh, painful and teaches us very painful lessons about how we do not love ourselves, how we, um, you know, kind of accept behavior that is not acceptable because it triggers wounding within us. So, uh, you know, sometimes you'll find that a twin flame union um, is avoidant of emotions. It's like a mirror, okay? It uh, reflects how we feel about ourselves because the twin flame obviously is, is a mirror image of yourself. So there's energies within you that you may uh, been avoiding before you met this person and they throw up a whole sort of like array of things to really work on uh this person is going to connect to you i'm going to pull a quick card on that and see um now either this person i mean spiritually there's a distance between you and this person but they may have traveled as well yeah two of wands there's a travel energy here two of wands is you know uh you may have been hoping for a message as well taurus but this person um th they're making some sort of travel plans the two of wands is about movement it's about planning uh, for the future, mapping progress, how far they've come, where they want to go. So I feel like when they reach out to you, Taurus, they may talk to you about wanting to move. I feel like this person is making a move. Now, I feel like they're either moving, um, let's see if they're moving across country or across the world, or they're making a radical change in their world, and they want you to be aware of their plans. So I do feel like this person is thinking about you. Um, I feel like they're spiritually ascending in some way. Um, the Strength card. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. And the Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is news. So they keep coming on in that this person is going to communicate with you. Uh, when you reduce number 27, it's nine, uh, which is a hermit energy. So this person's gaining some sort of enlightenment. But I feel like it's more to do with their spiritual path, Taurus. So they are changing. They There is some sort of action going on in their world. Um, they are blossoming. Interesting that you've got two hearts there and two carnations. Both kind of symbols of uh, love, of... Um, care um, and you know of some sort of communication or coming together of two entities so I do feel like this person is going to reach out to you um, but I feel their communication will tell you about some sort of travel plan it could literally be I'm planning a vacation to Paris or I'm planning a vacation to uh, go out of town for a little while I feel like it's a, sh a short trip at first but it could be long term so either they're trying to figure out whether they want to live there or something they, they want to let you know of their plans okay um, I do feel like you mean a lot to them they are aware that you are the twin flame uh, the strength card this person um, I feel like they're trying to find the courage to approach you after things that have gone down with you uh, I feel like also this person's lesson in life was to love themselves fully because I feel like they tend to sabotage things they tend to get in their own way uh, six of wands also Six of Wands is like some sort of positive news coming on in, but th there's recognition. So I feel like this person wants to tell you about something that's going really well in their world. And you may be like, so what? So what? You, I, I'm, I want to check what happened here. Well, I'm just going to see what was the energy that's crossing this before I move forward. Ten of Swords. Very painful ending between you and this person. You may have even felt like they betrayed you in some way or stabbed you in the back. Okay, very painful ending. So I'm sending you a huge hug there, Taurus. Um, so that's why I feel their hesitancy to come back on in and talk to you because they're thinking about how it ended. 
Okay, uh, so I just wanted to, but they are going to reach out. If they haven't already, uh, they're coming to, uh, it's interesting, I feel like they, they're not going to declare their love straight away for you, Taurus, or how they feel about you. I feel like they're going to tell you about a move, okay? Or they're going to tell you about something that's going really well for them, because the first person, they're giving me here, the first person they thought of to tell the good news to was you, but then there was no communication, so... Uh, or th they're thinking about the way that it ended and they feel like they cannot tell you, but they're going to push through that. They are going to come towards you. Okay, so let us see what is in the unified energy. It's number 29. Now, number 29 tends to be a, like a woman or a girl, feminine energy, but it's more about intuition. It can be about a person who identifies as female, but I feel more it's about intuition and following a life path to um, be happy. In pursuit of happiness that kind of energy because the Sun is shining on this feminine energy <clears throat> excuse me and number 29 when you reduce it is 11 so that is about a soul path number it's about balance it's about harmony and I feel it's about karma justice so I feel like this person is um, psychically connected to you in a way Taurus and they feel you and I feel you also cannot explain what's gone on here perhaps maybe you're digging deeper to find out but you're wondering how is it that you know this person? It's almost like sometimes you know this person's next move. Um, it is because you are connected. Um, I mean, we got number 11 here as well. This is the whip, but there's a control. Someone is being very resistant. They're being very rigid, rigid in their energy and trying to control the way that things go, okay? Um, <clears throat> it is the whip. So a lot of conflict arguments here. And of course, we've got the mountain as well. So uh, there is some things to overcome with you and this person, should you want to be together. Uh, number 21 is a world card. Um, and because it's the mountain there, um, it's like challenges. There are still obstacles in the way of this union uh, before you and this person can s sort of connect to each other and be on the same vibration and look forward to a future together. So I'm not going to lie to you here. I'm going to say that this person comes on in to talk about some sort of move or to tell you about their plans. And you may be kind of like, so what? So what? Let's talk about the most important thing. Where is this union going? Why do you keep coming back on in here? Why are we not addressing what needs to be said? Okay, so I'm going to just go and go a little bit deeper in this um, reading. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. I'm going to get a uh, tower. Yeah, really shocking energy there. Uh, crumbled foundation. Uh, I'm going to get all of the cards first before I actually talk about the journey. I mean, you're definitely going to hear from this person. The Eight of Wands is at the, at the, the root there, which uh, is about movement forward. It is about news, a message coming on in. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. We've got the King of Wands energy here. We've got the Two of Cups. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. We've got the Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. We're getting a lot of double. We were getting double nine there. We're getting... Um, a lot of double energy. Um, the Nine of Cups. Wow. Thank you so much. King of Cups energy. They want me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide? Page of Swords. And we got the Knight of Swords. Okay. So, what have we got coming on in? We have... The first card is the Tower. So, you and this person, quite an abrupt ending. Or quite a difficult ending. Uh, the tower indicates, you know, radical change in this union. Now, this is a Scorpio Aries energy. So this time period, I mean, is transformative for the union. Um, when you get the tower, it doesn't mean, well, it can mean a shocking energy. It can mean something that came out of nowhere that was unwanted change and sort of ruined the relationship. It could also be an upheaval. Okay, this is the heart of the matter of the union. Something needs to change in quite a radical way. And maybe you and this person were holding on to the past or holding on to the way it used to be. And it's almost like, you know, when you look at that tower, because they've shown me a plaster over the tower. So right now, and even though there's no plaster there, they'll show me a plaster. So, I mean, either you've just cut yourself as you're listening to this reading, or you just cut yourself in some way and had to get a Band-Aid. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone, of course, but they're just um, showing me a, a Band-Aid. And it's like, it's over the tower. So I feel 
it's about trying to hold on or trying to mend something, put a plaster over something that's, you know, it needs to be addressed. So I feel maybe it got to a breaking point. Now the tower is basically about, um, something being taken away in order to replace it with something greater, something stronger, foundation. So I feel like it's about letting things crumble, okay? It came to an end. And the only way back is to rebuild, really, because there's, it's almost like when it's over, there's no going back, Taurus. So I do feel um, the damage has been done in this union, and it may have uh, caused some insecurity about the validity or the uh, loyalty of the union doesn't mean that this person cheated on you or anything like that Taurus but something that was stable something that felt safe something that you were building with this person had crumbled away and it may have shocked you or in some way um I'm gonna pull a card on it because it could also be like a new way of thinking it could be like an epiphany of like oh I thought we were going in this direction but clearly we're not okay uh clearly uh there was some <clears throat> We're not on the same page. So I'm just going to feel, feel my way through this. I'm just going to see, uh, pick a card for you and for your uh, twin flame to see how you feel about this uh, card. So the tower for my beautiful Taurians. What does it mean for them? We've got the sun in the reverse and we got the chariot. Okay, so the sun, it's almost like someone took away your shine, your sparkle, but also major awakening here uh, brought a lot of um, egotistical energy, perhaps sadness there. Um, something that was positive got turned upside down and you may have felt like you've done waiting. Okay, I just, I picked up that energy from this card. You're done waiting. Okay, as much as you wanted to be with this person, it's like, I can't do this anymore. Okay, uh, and the sun in the reverse is a waiting energy or is a delayed gratification card, okay? Temporarily waiting, but temporary seems to go on forever. And the chariot card indicates you may actually shock this person, Taurus, and be like, I'm out of here. When they come messaging you, you're like, as I said, you're kind of like, so what? We're either talking about the big old crumbling here or we're not talking, okay? The chariot card indicates you're, you're taking action, you're getting out of the energy of uh, feeling depressed, I feel like you're moving away from this energy. I feel you're motivated to either seek love elsewhere. You didn't want to, but I feel with the chariot card, you're determined to overcome the challenge. Now this could be that you're over, you're determined to overcome the challenge in the union, but at the moment you feel like you're waiting. So it's the chariot card tends to be like a choice card, a fork in the road. So I feel like you have an either or here um, to decide what's going on there with your union. But at the moment, I feel you're done waiting. Uh, what does the tower mean for my beautiful Taurian's uh, twin flame? What does it mean for their twin flame? The judgment. They want a second chance. This may shock you, Taurus, because you're like... I feel like they're having a moment of clarity a major realization in their world and you know the judgment often says can we start again can we save this can we have this second chance can we sort of rebirth the union uh, can we absolve the things that have happened in the past forgiveness and you may be like no we need to still talk about what happened because this could happen again okay so I feel with the judgment card it's the way that I'm picking up the energy Taurus it's like it's too easy to just come on in and say can we start again there needs to be a real awakening here um, because this person's recognizing their life's purpose. They're also seeing um, where they've been avoidant, where they have had a lack of uh, accountability. Uh, and I do feel like they are, they're taking their time about it, but I do feel like this person's having a major awakening. It's come with some karma for them. I feel like things are in their world are crumbling and they're trying to hold anything that felt good in their life you know, they're trying to hold on to anything that you know makes them feel like the stability and i feel like taurus they are coming to grasp onto the energy that they had with you not because their world is crumbling but i feel like you are a source of um love nurture care for them and um i feel like at this time they really are needing it and again i'm not here to take anyone's side i'm not here um to uh, play a blame game either. I do feel this is what their energy is towards you. Again, I would say, Taurus, be careful if you feel anyone is codependent who comes on in when they need something for you, Taurus. 
and it's not that they need you okay so just uh, be aware of that um, now we've got what's challenging in this relationship the nine of cups this person may feel like nothing is ever good enough or it's not right or it's not the time uh, this person tends to look for quick results um, I feel with the nine of cups you are their wish come true and you are they are your wish come true because the nine of cups is wish fulfillment but when it's in the reverse there it's almost like either they wanted more it's almost like something that was i'm gonna have to pull a card on this it's almost because i can't quite understand the energy it feels like um something that was a dream come true relationship got turned completely upside down okay um I may even, now I'm not medically trained to talk about this, but I do feel like uh, there is an element here of depression, okay? I'm feeling um, very low energy. Um, so it could be that um, fear, depression has got in the way of the union in some way. I'm just going to pull a card and see what it means for you, Taurus. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. We got the Magician. So yeah, it was a bit of a dream come true for you, this union. When you met this person, there was love. I feel like you and this person felt like you could conquer the world together. Um, I feel like um, you and this person, you manifested this relationship to life. That's how I feel. And it was really positive at the, at the beginning. It's like magnetic, okay? Um, it, it was pretty magic. That's what I'm getting. And what does this Nine of Cups mean for your person? Imagination Station, okay? Now, Imagination Station is it's almost like they were not... They were not uh, imagining love. They were not manifesting love. They were not, it's almost like you're a dream come true to them, but in their world, they felt it was not the right time. Okay. So imagination station in the reverse. They, they were not prepared for this. They were not looking. They were not seeking um, love. They were not even thinking about it is what I feel here. I'm going to go one more with that for your person. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. But the thing is, you made them feel love. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Three of Swords, the full card in the reverse. Now, I've picked up on some energies in the last couple of readings, Taurus, where um, either your person had been in a relationship with somebody else before they met you, and it had really uh, sort of broken their heart, broken their esteem, um, and they were really cynical. It's almost like they were not looking for love. They did not want it at all. They never, not even thought about it, okay? They were not seeking it. And then you came along and you turned it all on its head because we've got this three of swords here in the reverse, which means they were healing from something, okay? Now, either they were physically healing from some sort of procedure as well, because they're showing me a procedure. Uh, maybe they'll tell you that in a message, but what I'm feeling here is that this person uh, was brokenhearted or cynical. They, they were not prepared to take a leap of faith in love at all until they met you, okay? Um, I do feel like they will try to make amends with you. But there is an element here, I have to say, that this person, they give a little to the union. And then when they feel like it's, it, it's almost like they have like a dark cloud that comes and then they just stop. They feel all up in their head. They like cannot do anything else. So again, I'm not medically trained to talk about that. So um, I'm just gonna try and see what that energy is. Can you please show me the energy of all of a sudden giving up? Nine of Wands. Again, they're giving, like the Nine of Wands is a wounded warrior energy and we've got it in the reverse here. So this person, uh, I mean, it could be isolation. Um, you know. They're trying to end that. They're very defensive, uh, paranoid sometimes that they feel like um, this is everything they want. And then all of a sudden they were, it's almost like they fear it's going to fail. So it's almost like they give up and they stop persisting at the union because in the upright, the nine of wands says persistence, keep going, even though it's tough, even though there's obstacles, keep going. But in the reverse, it's like then they've just given up. Okay, so, but it's nothing to, it's not to do with you, Taurus, you should know that. It's something to do with um, how they're feeling about the, their, their life journey at this moment in time. And again, I'm not here to blame anybody. And of course, things like depression and stuff like that, it's not controllable. So, I mean, of course, with meds and things like that, but some people may not want to do that. Um, they may not even be aware of 
it. So I, I cannot make a comment on that there. But deep down, what I can see is that there is action, there is change. This is uh, what is below you. In your gut instinct, I feel like you and this person, you're going to message again. There will be a more communication in this union. It's not over, is what I feel. Uh, the Eight of Wands says that there's action, there is change. But I also feel like travel. There's, you know, the, please look up the meanings of the cards, Taurus, because the Eight of Wands is a travel card as well. So I feel like something's gathering momentum. This person is making some changes, and I feel like they're celebrating some sort of transformation, and they want to share it with you. So I really feel like this person is going to tell you. It's almost like, and you may feel, because Taurus, you're not the sort of person to ring your own bell, as it were. You don't like to stand in the spotlight and be like, look at me. You let your work or you let your, you let your actions speak louder than your words. But this person wants to talk about themselves towards you. And um, I just feel this energy of you like, so what? Because I feel like you really wanna just get to the heart of the matter in the union. Okay, uh, not that you're going to shoot this person down uh, with what they have to say, but I just feel like um, yeah, you're going to you're going to hear from this person. I would say in the next four to five weeks there will be a message, um, and it's to do with them moving or booking some sort of travel or something like that. Um, so deep down, there's definitely action. There is change happening in this union. We got the magician card. This is in the recent past, so a lot of thinking happening here. Um, a lot of manifesting going on. You may have been dreaming of this person or had them pop into your mind a lot. Even if you felt like you've processed this twin flame union and you're like, okay, it's probably over. Or maybe it's even a false flame. Maybe it's not even real. I feel like um, you will be dreaming of this person. They're really trying to manifest you back into their world. Uh, let me just uh, yeah, pull a card on that for you and your person. Can you please show me the magician for my beautiful Taurians? We got the two of wands and we got the strength card. Okay. Maybe you're doing the same thing, Taurus. Maybe uh, this is something that you and this person talked about, you know. Um, you know when you talk to somebody about maybe making some changes in your life, you're going to go traveling, you're going to do this. Say, for example, you said you wanted to go to, I don't know, um, Spirit, give me a, so, sorry, they're all, all of a sudden giving me a, a metallic taste in my mouth. Metallic. Mm. Oh, I don't like that at all. Metallic. So either you are drinking something that is has metallic properties, or perhaps you're having a nosebleed. Sometimes when uh, you know you have nosebleed, you have that metallic uh, taste in your mouth beforehand. Please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure. It's coming out of nowhere, Taurus. I know it's nothing connected to your reading at all, but I mean, so please take it as it resonates. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, if that is you though there's definitely something i'm picking up on your energy so there's something in this reading for you um you know when you say things like you know oh i'm gonna go and visit the netherlands and then um your person many many months later you're in separation they're like oh hey i'm in the netherlands and you're like what one of our last conversations was that so i feel like this person may even book uh some travel to somewhere where you said you wanted to go or that you were going to go um, I feel like you're trying to build strength and trying to move on. Uh, I do feel like you waited for this person to sort of show you how they felt. You waited for a long time. Justice. Karma. You waited for a solution. Look at that panda. I love it. Uh, that panda there is kicking that other panda in the face. That's like karma. Okay. Uh, when you get the justice card is about cause and effect. What you put into a union, you get out of a union. But of course it takes two. So I do feel like if this person has been in some way um, dishonest to you, unfair, I feel like they are getting some karma. That's really making them think about their actions towards you, Taurus. Uh, I do also feel like you have a desire. You're manifesting them back to know the truth, the why of what has gone on there. So I feel like it was something that needs to be said still, a conversation, okay? Uh, now, how is the magician for your person? Thank you so much for it, guys. Five of Wands, okay. Now, Five of Wands, I feel like they are, um, how can I put that? I feel like they are, the Five of Wands can be a card of conflict, but the actual history of uh, the tarot deck, the Five of Wands, is about someone who is 
in battle, in training, getting ready to do something heroic. And you may not feel like this person is particularly heroic, Taurus, uh, but I feel they're trying, they're trying to muster the courage up to do something that they feel is difficult to come out of their comfort zone. So I do feel like uh, the Five of Wands, um, they're trying to resolve some problems within themselves. A lot of drama comes with this person. Uh, we got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse and we got the Empress in reverse. So this person is very conflicted about the... Um, I feel like they are thinking about you, but I feel like they're very conflicted about how they disconnected from you, how they neglected the union, someone that they felt was a divine counterpart, uh, especially with that Empress card. Now, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. They noticed that you and this person, well, they know that you and this person had a divine union connection, but they disconnected. I also feel like this person has codependency energy. Uh, you may feel also that there is, um, that they, they have little to offer in the time frame that you have. So maybe you want to build a family. Maybe you want to settle down and they've wasted your time and you feel like you cannot wait for them, Taurus, because you want to have a family. Maybe you feel, if you're a feminine energy, maybe you feel like your clock is ticking. So I do feel there's a conflict there as well with this uh, energy that's coming through. Now we have the King of Wands in the potential position, which is above you. And this is about courage. This is about, you know, um, independence, but also someone coming towards you, charging, um, you know, having that courage to try and fight for the union or um, sweep you off your feet, Taurus. So I feel like there's a lot of passion in this union. This person's very independent. But you can be independent and be in a union. So um, I'm going to pull some cards on this because I feel like this person is drawn to you. You have... No matter what happens in this union, Taurus, this person is magnetized towards you. Uh, you actually have a lot more influence on this person than you realize, okay? Uh, this person always thinks back to um, the passion between you, but I feel like you, of course, you wanted more, okay? So let me just uh, pull a card on that. Uh, the King of Wands for my beautiful Taurus. What does it mean for them? Ace of Cups and the Star, okay? So... Now, the star is about healing, and the Ace of Cups can be about, you know, cup of love coming towards you, proposal, high-level commitment. You're willing to heal this union if this person works for the love, okay? And not because you want to punish them, Taurus, but because you feel uh, they have to show you, they have to prove to you. They, uh, As you can see, that panda is trying its best to get in that cup, so, you know, I'm just gonna let that motorcycle go past. There's a person who's just bought a motorcycle maybe a couple of months ago and they just whiz up and down this road. I mean, anyway, they'll probably be back as well. They got nowhere to go, nowhere to be, but they'll be back uh, just up and down the road. And I totally understand it, but it just gets a little bit annoying occasionally. So we got the Ace of Cups here. So I do feel like this, uh, You're if you're wanting to heal this with this person, because the star says it can be healed, they gotta show you, they gotta prove, okay? With that Ace of Cups. Uh, Thank you so much, Spirit Guides or Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Turians, King of Wands? What does that mean for them? The Three of Wands in the reverse. They don't want to look further afield, okay? This person's not waiting for a lucky break elsewhere. They're not trying to expand on their opportunities. Uh, this person is not looking for other people, is what I'm getting here. Six of Wands in the reverse. They have a lack of confidence, this person. A High Priestess, they feel a psychic bond between you. That's what I was feeling there with that... And they don't want to be a player. If you felt like they were a player, they want to settle down. High Priestess in the upright there. This person knows you're the person who has a hold on their heart. Uh, as I said, I felt like this person was not looking for love. Uh, I feel like they were passion-based. passion, passion based. They wanted to um, feel that connection with you. But I feel like it went deeper and you knew it. Uh, and that Knight of Wands in the reverse, someone who's quite chaotic tends to be here today, gone tomorrow kind of energy. In the reverse, it means they, they want to settle down. They want something a bit more solid in their world, okay? Um, they don't want it to just be about passion. So I do feel like this person is going to take action. You know, the knight, uh, sorry, the king of fire takes action, uh, is bold. So I do feel like they will come towards you, Taurus. Also, in the near future, we got two of cups energy. So soulmate, twin flame, you know, 
they're twins. So I do feel like you and this person will be uh, coming towards each other to connect in some way in the near future. So in the next four to five weeks, I definitely feel like this person's coming towards you. Um, I feel like they will offer you, uh, you know, some sort of hint at a commitment, but I feel like they really will talk about this travel thing at first. It's going to be so bizarre that you're going to be really fed up with it at first. Um, but they will get down to how they feel. Now they're giving me two, they just give me a name, Greta, Greta. I feel like that's come up before. Maybe not for your sign, but Greta is a name that has definitely come up before. So either your name is Greta, or maybe you are someone who is connected to someone called Greta. So please take it as it resonates. Um, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Uh, it doesn't mean that this whole reading is just for someone called Greta. It does, that's not how my energy works. Uh, basically, they call someone out if they feel their attention is sort of going away from the reading and there's something in the reading that is specifically for them they're calling out okay so um it doesn't mean it's not your reading so that two of cups indicates that you and this person are going to come together in the near future okay now the heart of the matter i mean the advice at the moment or the the energy of the moment is the three of swords there's a lot of pain here there's a lot of sadness there's a lot of sorrow there's a lot of regret here so and some bad choices both of you are blossoming despite the separation um, in different ways, of course, but you may have felt like um, you couldn't trust them or they let you down. Because when I touch this card, Taurus, I get the I get the name Judas. So, uh, you know, I'm not here to talk about religion or anything like that. But I feel like it is a common term to sort of call someone that you feel betrayed you in some way. So let me just see what that is for you. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so yeah. You're turning that pain to gain. You're trying to walk away, perhaps even uh, get a new start in here, okay? Uh, you're recovering. When you get a Ten of Swords in the reverse, you are recovering from the very sort of shocking ending or disconnect from this union. It has been very painful. But I feel like, look at that. That Ten of Swords, I want to show you in the upright. Ten of Swords there, that mirror is smashed. So I feel... Uh, either an illusion in this relationship is smashed or you know that twin flame reflection something is smashed that's how twin flames work they show you a mirror to yourself and you both sort of trigger each other and then um, it allows for spiritual ascension it's a very painful process so not everybody stays in a twin flame union but I feel like you are recovering what about your twin flame what's happening here with that card for them magician they're thinking about you manifesting they're finding their power and I feel like they are magnetizing um, they're taking action the magician card is an action card this is Aries energy so along with that king of wands you may have been dealing with the Aries because we've got the two magicians here we've got the king of wands as well we've got a lot of water in the chart too uh, there's quite a few elements coming through so I would say at the moment uh, there's not one definitive main energy that's coming through I do feel like you and this person are gravitating towards each other though, okay? I feel like it's merging and merging and I feel like there's action communication coming uh, towards you. Now we got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the environment, both you and this person, solitary energies who are, uh, well, it doesn't have to be solitary, but Nine of Pentacles normally talks about, you know, a person who is doing well, um, capitalizing financially on things that they're working towards, uh, trying to build a solid foundation in terms of uh, employment or money. Um, people who are trying to level up in the world, slow process, but I feel like maybe both parties are focusing on their money at this time, Taurus. You're thinking about, your environment is thinking about bettering your life, keeping a stable life or trying to level up in the world. Um, Now, um, they said to me, uh, when the chips are down, that's all they said, when the chips are down, but I really feel like chip could be a nickname as well. Uh, when the chips are down, I, I'm going to have to look up what that term means. I'm so sorry. I don't know what that means. When the chips are down, I feel like it's when things, it's almost like when the chips are down. I mean, the chips would be maybe betting. When the chips are down, maybe this person bets or you do. When the chips are down. I really don't know. I'm going to have to... Anyway, let's move on from that energy. Um, okay, no, they want me to clarify. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Um, 
We've got the Queen of Wands here. So that's a vibrational match with that King of Wands. So this is your energy, Taurus. You may feel like this person, nobody else matches your vibration like this person did. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. I feel like you just keep shining your light. The Queen of Wands energy, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. Uh, in terms of the Nine of Pentacles, this is about knowing that you are an attractive catch, Taurus. You bring a lot to the table. You are, uh, you know, financially secure in yourself or you're building your, your empire, as it were. Also, you know, you're very attractive both inside and out. And at this time, you're attracting a lot of potential suitors. The Queen of Wands tends to be someone who attracts a lot of attention. Okay, so I do feel like the external environment is you are a good catch, Taurus. And if you don't know that, you should really recognize that. And I do feel like your person knows that as well. Um, even though they were not ready or some dynamic there of avoidance, chaotic person who tends to sometimes sabotage even themselves. Um, the Queen of Wands here, I feel like this person knows that you are, they find you very physically attractive as well, very passionate. Um, but I feel like you will have other suitors. So if you are looking for new love, I do feel like there is a potential as well. Uh, the Death card is their card. It's in the reverse. This person is stuck on you. Okay. They cannot move forward. They cannot move away from the energy. Uh, this is, um, I, I feel like they're stuck. Okay. Um, also, I feel like sometimes they resist your energy because there's elements. Uh, it could also be obsession. I'm feeling obsession with this card. I feel like they are obsessed with um, you to the point of resisting you. I know it sounds so bizarre, Taurus, but I just get this energy of them resisting because um, they feel like you would attract a lot of people and therefore uh, it brings out their insecurities and they feel like their hope is kind of destroyed in a way. They feel like Okay, I want to put it in a way where, you know, when you fall in love with someone, you put them on a pedestal, okay? So when you put someone on a pedestal, you're automatically looking up. And you don't mean to, but energetically, you do. I feel like this is what this person's done. They put you on a pedestal and they feel like, it's almost like they make it makes them feel bad about themselves in some way, that they feel obsessed that you will find somebody else or that someone else will find you attractive. That could be jealousy. That could be insecurities is what I'm getting coming through here. Um, now we've got the Knight of Cups. This isn't a hope and a fear here. So this is, you know, this person is going to be really open with you, vulnerable, I feel. Um, I feel the hope was that you wanted this person to do this a long time ago. And uh, when they come back on in, I feel you think it's, it's just unrealistic timing that they now expect you to just be there. So I feel like that's a fear that perhaps by the time that they've opened up to this union and tried to bring some sort of commitment to it, I feel like you're gone. So um, if you know a twin flame union, it happens that the runner stops running and then comes towards the chaser and then the chaser becomes the runner. You flip energies, okay? So you, you may be in a runner energy but let's see i'm going to pull some cards on that that knight of cups can you please clarify the knight of cups for my beautiful taurians how do they feel about that three of wands you're not looking elsewhere three of wands in the reverse okay uh, also i feel like this person has wait, made you wait a long time there's been such delay that you may have lost hope the page of wands mm. i feel if you wait any longer you will be curious about somebody new okay i feel in about if you don't hear from this person in the next four to five weeks i feel like you will though let me just get a time frame on that page of wands there will be someone who yeah there will be someone who um catches your attention soon Taurus. Uh, I feel deep down in your soul you wanted to be with your twin flame, but there is somebody new who you feel a little bit curious about uh, in the near future, okay? Um, but as we, you can see, the Six of Cups is there as well, which is, um, you know, someone from your past sort of coming on in, um, may bring nostalgia there. I do feel 
you don't want to get stuck in the past you want this person to change their energy to be positive uh your twin flame but i do feel like with that ten of pentacles there in the reverse there i feel like you will be conflicted i do feel like you may have a choice okay um, now, if you're looking for singles reading, of course, I will do a singles reading again for the collective in the next, uh, say, week or so. Um, but I feel like you're letting your twin flame come to you. You're not chasing this person. OK, that's what I feel there. Uh, the Knight of Cups for Taurus's twin flame. The Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Interesting. The Page of Swords in the reverse, once you stop looking, once you stop being curious about this person, the Queen of Pentacles as well in the reverse, uh, once uh, you know you take away the energy that you actually give to the Union, Taurus, um, I feel like they change, they take action, they come towards you. Uh, the Page of Swords in the reverse, I do feel like this person keeps tabs on you, okay? Uh, they're watching you to see, they want to learn a bit more about you, but if only they would just have a conversation with you and learn a bit more about you that way. I do feel like they dip in occasionally to see what you're up to. Uh, Queen of Pentacles as well. Uh, now the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's interesting because you've got Page of Swords there as well. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I would say that this person, they do want to settle down, but I feel like financially they may be a bit dependent right now. Um, I feel like they're not ready to sort of build home with uh you taurus right now um but i feel the chariot card this person is uh moving through some changes and i feel like they are motivated to come towards you um and talk with the chariot card i feel like they are um taking action i only say that because we've got a knight of swords here i feel like it's lifestyle changes happening in this union um so i feel like they want to reveal their heart and they want to tell you that there is love but beyond that I feel like I haven't thought that far ahead, okay? So I have to give it to you like that. Um, that's how I feel with this person. Uh, now, uh, an outcome here I have, uh, you two will talk, okay? Uh, we got King of Cups energy here, which is Scorpio energy. Now, because we've got two court cards, I'm gonna have to pull a card and see if this is two people, because uh, I do feel Taurus, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. I feel you could have two energies coming towards you, one that has Aries, one that has Scorpio. Um, but the King of Cups, as you can see, very protective love um, and shark infested water. So insecurity bubbling up there about love. King of Cups energy tends to be, um, you know, the deepest love of all. But when love is so deep, it actually scares you. You start to shy away from it. You protect yourself from it because you feel like you could be hurt. And I do feel like this is the person that you're kind of dealing with. OK, that doesn't really help you. I feel like there are some emotional obstacles that this person has to overcome before they really commit to you. But I do feel like they will reach out and message you. We have the Page of Swords. Pages bring news. This person is going to talk to you. I feel like they want to tell you the truth there. That is, uh, they're, they're curious about you. This is Aquarius energy. Um, I do feel like this person, I feel like there's something really honest and open about the communication that they give you this time around to the point where you're going to be surprised. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to surprise them though because they feel different when they hear from you. It's almost like you are a bit more disconnected. I feel like you've taken a step back. And we've got the Knight of Swords there, okay? So this is action, this is change, this is movement, uh, but this is also truth, okay? The Knight of Swords comes in fast and says their piece, says what they always wanted to say. Also, as you can see with that Knight of Swords, this one is painting out the cloud because it would get in the way of the sun. So getting in the way of the happiness. So I feel like this person is sort of trying to erase the things that they may have done that got in the way of the happiness in the union. It's almost like they want to start again. They want to make those changes. I'm going to pull some cards and see what the overall outcome means for you and for them. What does it mean for my beautiful Taurians? High Priestess in the reverse, Knight of Wands. You don't trust this person. You think they have secrets. You... Uh, Think that they're a player you feel like they're here today gone tomorrow you don't trust that they want to be loyal and um you don't feel like they want a stable union okay so even though they come to talk to you i mean it's going to be difficult even if it's so hard once you you know it takes a lifetime to build someone's trust but a second to break it and once you find out that a person did not tell you the truth or that they uh, avoided their true feelings you start to think that there's something 
secretive or off with the, the union. So it's hard to trust. So I feel like you, you find it hard to trust this person. Okay. Now, what is, you find it hard to trust their changes as well. Um, what is my beautiful Taurians, um, twin flame feel about this? We got the magician in the reverse. We got the ace of wands in the reverse. Interesting. The magician card in the reverse indicates this person feels like there's unfulfilled potential in this union. Okay. They also feel powerless against you because I feel like you're going to reject the ace of wands there says you're rejecting their advances. Okay. Or you're delaying, perhaps you delay them this time. Uh, I do feel like the energy shifts in this union. I'm going to go one more. Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, just when they are ready to have long-term security and that they're not undecided anymore. They're not sort of um, neglecting or resisting the union. They're coming in looking for stability. Uh, it, it, the energy here shows that in some way they feel... You don't want this. And it's almost like you show them a piece of their own medicine. You may not want to. It may not be like it's not a game to you. I feel like you're being protective. And I feel like you've lost a bit of hope in this union. You started off with so much hope in this union. Uh, it was a dream come true. But then it just came crumbling. Okay. I'm just going to go with another deck and see. I do feel like you and this person get a chance to talk it out. Okay. Um, okay, uh, they're giving me a song, I cannot tell you what the song is, but I will try and tell you what the, now, it's like, you don't, it's either you don't own me or you don't know me, you don't, I feel it says own me, you don't own me. I'm not like, I guess that says like other girls. I, you don't own me. I'm not like, I can't, I don't know the song. I, I have to say it, Taurus. I'm going to have to look it up after the reading. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will look it up. I'm not really sure what it is, but I mean, that energy alone says you don't own me. Or it could be you don't know me. I'm not. So there's definitely some sort of miscommunication here, or you feel like this person tries to control the way things go. Oh gosh, two fours upside down. Let me see, is this another four? We've got a three of wands in the reverse. We go one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Um, how much I receive? Thank you so much. Okay, I'm crossing that Wheel of Fortune, please, for their energy. Mm. Okay, so we have a Four of Swords, and we got a Four of Cups in the reverse. This basically says, Taurus, get ready. If you're in a solitary energy, yes, you are healing. Yes, you're being protected, but get ready for communication or get ready for action. The Four of Swords in the upright says, there's no action, it's time for rest. But in the reverse, it says, get ready. There's going to be action in this union. Uh, also, we got the four of cups in the reverse, which means a new outlook, a new way of looking at this in terms of perspective, but also a new option comes in. Okay. Just when you feel like nothing's happening, all of a sudden the union brings in something new, something different to shake up the mix. Uh, we've also got the three of wands in the reverse and that is delays. Okay. It's also about, you know, Deep down, you may not want to look further afield. You may not want to look elsewhere, but you've been forced. There's no other choice. You, do, you don't want to wait anymore, okay, um, for this person to spiritually ascend. And we've got Wheel of Fortune. It's in the reverse there. So you may feel like stuck in a rut with this because you feel like things are not in the right timing or you feel like everything happens in divine order, just so you're aware. But you may feel with this Wheel of Fortune... Um, It's almost like it you just can't you just can't shake the feeling that it was bad fortune that you met this person because crossing it is the three of swords there it is in the reverse it was in the reverse when I took it out there so it's almost like there's a lot of pain to unpick in this union a lot of um 
mistrust, sadness that has gone on here, that it, it I feel this is your turn, Taurus, to really like fight destiny is what I feel, okay? Because I feel like this is your energy because it's like saying, get ready, there is change happening here, but now you're kind of trying to stop this or block this because of what happened in the past, okay? Um, and I'm going to go one more for your person uh, before we... Oh, wow, they even just chose that. <laughs> I, I, it's not funny, of course, Taurus, but Six of Cups says they're back. Six, Six of Cups, in my um, energy readings, is someone from your past thinking about you, longing to be in your arms, coming towards you with uh, either an apology or some sort of uh, promise there or compromise, uh, wanting to talk about the good old days. You know, you're now running from this or you're disconnecting from this and they're coming in to talk. And you're like, I'm, I'm sorry, I've checked out. As much as you deep down really wanted this, there is a stubborn energy here. So I would say expect this person to come and talk to you. I feel like they will persist in trying to talk to you. If you don't message them back, I feel like they will message you again. Um, they're showing me a white rabbit now white rabbit so either you and this person had a white rabbit or you have one i mean rabbits are lucky but white rabbit may be something that uh, means something to you maybe it's a nickname that you and this person used to call each other so i'm not really sure how it resonates with your reading but they keep showing me that you are disconnecting from this energy and that your person is going to come in and try and connect with you okay so uh, any final messages now, just to let you know, when I do my Twin Flame Union readings, they're good for about four to five weeks to transmute the energy, just so you're aware. Um, energy is uh, fluid. It can change, just so you're aware. And I pick up the, of the majority of energy of the collective, just uh, so you're aware in my readings. Uh, we've got Reconciliation, and we've got Sprout. So as much as you or this person try to fight destiny, there is going to be a point where you and this person come together and reconcile. Now, you may reconcile your differences and decide to walk away from the union completely, or you may reconcile to start something new because we have that sprout there. It says reunion with someone from your past, union, merging, repair. So again, all of the energy in your reading is pointing in that direction, okay? But you may feel that you're so fed up with this pattern by now that you're like, I'm not even sure anymore what I want, um, but I do feel that there is reconciliation happening here. It's number 51. When you reduce it, five plus one is six, okay? So you, you've been in the energies of the sixes there. We've got number 21, the world card. So a cycle is ending. It is completing, and it is bringing a satisfied energy. And we've got sprout. New opportunities will be revealed to you, beginnings, growth, and potential. So as well as your twin flame, as I said, I feel like there's a new opportunity and love coming towards you. It has the potential to grow, but there's nothing like a twin flame union energy, of course. Um, it's a psychic kind of bond. Soulmate energy is absolutely wonderful also, I have to say, but I do feel like you and this uh, person from your past get a chance to explore where this could go in a more nurturing fashion in terms of the union, but if you cannot make it work, I do feel like you get to find new love, okay? So it is coming for you. It depends on what you want, um, my beautiful Taurians. Now, I'm just going to get you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Don't angels, can you please guide me? Uh, now, as I'm picking this uh, up, I'm not looking at the trinkets right now. I'll close my eyes for that. They're showing me a red, it's either a red ruby or a red garnet stone. I think it's in a ring. I'm not really sure, but uh, they're showing me it against. It's really close up. I feel like it is set in something, so it could be a ring or some sort of pendant or something like that. But they're showing me red ruby or red garnet. Now, either you're touching that at this time as you listen to this reading, or this is a gift that somebody gave you with love, and they said it was their heart or their the way they felt about you. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. It could be simple, like you just bought it, or you bought a gift for somebody, or it is. I mean. Taurus, I think, is red, is garnet your spiritual birthstone? It may be, so I'll, I'll check that out. I can't remember. Please don't shoot the messenger when I say that. I may have got that wrong. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've got lucky cat. So this is about independence, uh, but also when you get that, we often get a wheel of fortune energy, um, and I feel like there's a turning point here, uh, but you may want to weigh up your options before you take a leap of faith in this, because just like the cat, they do that little dance where they're sort of uh, strategically wor sort of working out whether this is 
something that is worth their time or is, you know, worth their energy. So you may be weighing up your options. Should you give this a second chance or not? Uh, they want it on the Knight of Swords. So there's definitely action coming towards you. Plus we've got um, key, planetary alignment key. And on the uh, little lock there, there is a heart. Okay, so this key uh, to unlock everything, follow your heart is obviously important. I do feel like by the next full moon, Taurus, you will have heard from this person. You will have a message and it will involve them talking about travel in some way. They may even be really bold and say out of the blue, hey, you wanna go on a spa weekend with me? Or hey, you wanna go on a weekend away with me? It's like the sort of reaction where you go, come on. You know, I don't know. I feel like at first you're, you're, not, you're not impressed is how I feel, okay? But there is definitely something that will unlock in this. They want it on the Two of Cups. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Taurians. If you'd like to have the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is put in the comments box below, I am a magnet for abundance, and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November. Please uh, visualize what it is that you would like to uh, achieve or magnetize into your life, and then say those words as well outwards so that you affirm what it is that you want okay and i'll upload a video on the 21st of november with the the winner's name in it okay if something resonates in this reading please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me thank you so much my beautiful taurians love and light